So this photo um, is good memories. It was a, it was a successful season, um, and for me, you know, it's a picture with a legend of the game, um, fantastic manager, a, a great guy, and it was a pleasure to work with him. You know, when you get the call, the club wants you. It's flattering in itself, but when the manager's um, played his part to get you here and it's yaps done, you know, you can't turn that down. And it, it was. Uh, it was an easy decision for me to come here. Bradford, um, this was a special time for myself. It was challenging. Um, it's my first professional club um, where I was playing games. I believe this was Torquay, so maybe my f second or third game in. Um, you know, I was young, I was an enthusiastic, but I didn't really have the game understanding yet. But at that age, you know, you, you just give everything you can. Um, it was a big club, it is a big club. Um, they get great numbers still to this day. So from going and playing in front of just family and friends, you know, under 18's level to go and to play 10, 11,000 in League Two was was a great uh, experience for myself and it held me in good stead. You know, I did the 18's, I did the reserves for a little bit and I was straight into the first team and I was trusted, you know. That was a big thing at my age, centre half, um, and, and thrown in the deep end if you like. And, yeah, when I say deep end, Jan Kermigan is the, the meaning of deep end when you were a young centre half. Um, that picture there sums up how the game was as well. They was quite long, uh, long balls, and he was just a handful. I remember that. He physically he was a man mountain, um, a real strong guy, and a guy that I'm happy that I had on my team eventually. Um, but yeah, again, a part of my learning curve. Um, you have to learn to deal with players like that. This went down a storm in Leicester because, you know, I'm a Leicester lad. Um, I've always worn my, my heart on my sleeve, as they say. And uh, yeah, I just remember it was Wigan at home. Um, I broke into the team, but I'd, I'd established myself at the time as a uh, first choice centre half with Wes in the background and Landy King there as well, that's a fellow academy graduate. Um, yeah, met the ball well. One of my better header finishes, and uh, I wheeled off and probably had three or four celebrations. Um, none of them were planned because I didn't score many. I still don't, but um, I actually ran over to an advertising board and I kicked the board at the time, broke that. Um, I was meant to pay for that, actually, but the club did that. And it was a feeling that you can't describe, you know, when you come through a club that you support and that you love and you score a goal. Uh, yeah, special memories, even looking back at it now, yeah, very, very special memories and um, probably my favourite goal of my career so far. This picture at the top's a good one for me to look back on. Um, it's just good memories. Um, I've played with some real high quality players. I've been lucky. Um, I've been in some situations where, you know, you play alongside these guys and you watch them and train with them and you know they're going to step onto a... Uh, an unbelievable level if you like, you know, you've got Harry Kane there, one of the biggest names in world football right now. He was already a step above, it was a big thing that we got him for the tournament, uh, it, you know, people was on and on whether he should probably stay away and stay with the seniors, but it spoke volumes of his character, he wanted to come, he wanted to be the main man, um, and he wanted to get the, the golden boot at that tournament. Uh, it didn't pan out that way, but you knew he, he was special at this stage. Um, he's finishing and in training, his all-round game was, was top level. Some real high quality again. Uh, just talk about the quality to start with. You've got uh, Ant that's seen as one of the best championship players. Um, Chris Wood scoring goals in the Premier League. Scored, scored goals at every level he's been at. And then Riyad, one of the um, best players in the world. Um, Stan Sacer, Ballon d'Or uh, nominee. Um, and yeah, to, to look back and see that these players were there at the time probably says that we should have achieved success at the time, but when you're in it, you know, it's difficult. We went on to smash the league that year. Um, if I'm right, I don't think we was a million miles away from the Reading record. Uh, we actually let ourselves down uh, when we was up. We probably parted a little bit too hard, um, but what memories. Some players never win silverware in their whole career and I've managed to do that and I would like to get my hands on that again, for sure. I think Liam Kelly hit the shot, hit the crossbar, went down. 
it was over the line. I'll admit that now. But at the time, nobody knew. Um, I think I just got a chest on it, or maybe even stomached it in. Um, but yeah, that was nice to get my first running goal, and we won the game as well, which was important on many levels. Um, we were flying that season, so all the points were um, greatly appreciated. But it was the day slash night of the Christmas do, um, and you always want to win before the Christmas do because. You know, you don't want to give the manager an excuse to cancel it. So it was a, it was nice to get on the score sheet then and go on out, go out that evening and celebrate my first goal. This was a a great day. Um, one, it was the first time I'd seen a training ground, and I couldn't believe how good it is. I say it all the time. Honestly, it's it's an unbelievable facility. Um, two, I'd just been named captain, or just been told that I was captain, and then free the honour of kicking the ball and I know it seems quite a small thing but something you can take with you you know I'll um, again out of these pictures on the wall this would be another one that I'll definitely keep um, because like I say yeah, to, to be the first person to, to kick the ball on a facility that will be there for many years now is a, is a big thing and a day that I uh, very much enjoyed. By far this was the best atmosphere uh, I've heard of Majewski um, been involved in we was written off before the playoffs. We knew it was going to be a, a difficult two legs, uh, and that was for sure. Like, there was no two ways about it. You might catch Fulham on a bad day once, but two in a row, that, that's not really happening. But we, uh, we did well in the first leg. Um, we got the draw, and we set ourselves up perfectly for a, a very memorable and maybe historic night at the Majeski. Um, we played some decent stuff, we showed fighting spirit and we uh, we showed a real togetherness to to win that game and then after it just it was amazing, you know, fans were in pitching on the pitch in seconds, um, everybody embracing everybody, um, the togetherness there is to see and it was a real special uh, real special night. <laughs> when you told me that we was uh, doing my journey, this was Definitely going to be on there. I didn't know which picture you was going to use, but this was going to be on there. Um, it kind of speaks for itself. Um, got some real good guys in the picture as well, and all the emotions there are just... They're still raw uh, to a degree, but I think I'm old enough now and wise enough to kind of see that it's part of the journey, as it's obviously this is the journey, but you have to pick yourself up and dust yourself down, and I... Um, I think I did that, to be honest with you. It was a difficult 48 hours after, for sure. I believe that that season, I just joined from Leicester. Um, first season, playoff final, I'm thinking like, it's all it's written in the stars, this, you know, we're gonna be straight back up into the Premier League. I've had a decent rise, if you like. I've done well this season and it, it's just written, but the harsh reality of football, it doesn't go the way you want it to. Um, yeah, it was difficult, it was painful. It still is painful to look at, but Everything happens for a reason, I'm a strong believer in that and yeah, we're moving on and we're moving forward and that for sure has made me a better player and a stronger player for it. Obviously two of us will know the the hardest part of it because we was uh, right involved, me and Jordan, um, but the other boys, it was amazing to be honest with you. Um, you do come off feeling like you, you've let the boys down and people down but no, listen, we regrouped very quickly in the dressing room. Um, I sat next to George on the bus, so I won't forget that, we did all season. Um, we shed a couple of tears on the bus, um, but that was it, you know, we, we cracked on. Still very good mates and their experiences that we go through as a group of people that you'll, you'll stick with. Um, you can't go through events like that and, and not have like a, a great respect for each other. Um, we knew what it meant to stay in this league, for sure, like we had the conversation many times about, listen, we just need to get over the line, and this was a big game, if I'm right. We was watching, uh, was watching the results coming back. I can't, actually can't remember who we was waiting on to hear their result, but I think we just stood there and it was, it was like the lottery where you wait for the last number, you know, it eventually came up, and the reaction, you look back at it now, you're thinking, it might be a bit of an overreaction, but at the time, the relief and the, uh, the feeling coming out was just, Unbelievable week. We want the, the trophy lift in every season, obviously. That's a, a mark of success, but this is the opposite side of the game, you know? This is you're fighting for your life. Um, we were struggling, we was in a bad way. 
but we, we'd come through. Uh, we had a good little run towards the end to enable this picture. And uh, yeah, I can't tell you, I'd never be able to put into words what it meant to stay up. Nobody wants to get relegated, obviously, but for us, if we had have got relegated, it was just a terrible reflection of us as players because that is nowhere near where this should be and this club should be and we managed to get ourselves out of that mess in the end. This picture's just after the uh, playoffs actually. Um, I think there's about three, three weeks between the pictures, but this is my favorite picture of them all. Um, and this time actually, uh, like explain to me how much life is important outside of football. I think at the start of the journey I would have said that football is life and then I get to moments like this and pictures like this and realise that's what life's all about. Look, I want to be successful at football, I want to give everything I can. You know, it's my job, it's my passion, but my family, they're my, my everything. Um, we're minus one. Since then we've had another one, I've got a little boy. Um, but this was an amazing day, I've got my my amazing wife, um, a bit soppy, but yeah, she's my my soulmate. We've been to been through everything together. She picked me up after the playoff final, um, and yeah, I got I got married quite young. But in my head, that's what I wanted. I knew what I wanted moving forward, and uh, yeah, we've got a beautiful girl. Uh, I love the picture of her just walking around. Her. So innocent. She doesn't really understand it all, but we're surrounded by our friends, our family. Um, we got married in uh, married in Palmer. It was the most amazing day and that's probably what helped me the following season actually come back in with my spirits so high because I realised what life was about. Um, yes, football is a lot but it's not everything. Um, that's everything and yeah, that was uh, an amazing day and the biggest part of my jigsaw in my journey because without my family I wouldn't be where I am today for sure.